where we trust no other source, where we have faith in no other but our God, and your altar is a reflection of how far you trust and depend on God. Because anyone who depends on God will invest on the altar. Can somebody say amen? Number three, an altar is a platform where covenants are activated. So it is in the altar that we activate covenants. Covenants cannot come alive. Covenants cannot be activated without an existing altar. For example, we have got many promises from God and covenants that God has made in His Word. God says you are the head and not the tail. God says you are blessed. God says you are, you are the Israel of God. God says you shall prosper. There are so many things that God has said in His Word. But where is the platform which we then use to activate those blessings of God? It is at the altar that we activate the things that God has said in our lives. So for example, all your life you can say, I'm blessed, I'm healthy, I will not get sick. I'm